Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Monday here, 12th of October. Dollar had a little bit of a bid uh, going forward, coming out of the gate there. I guess it was the China news, change reserve requirements. Makes sense. Um, that would create a little bit of a bid with the dollar. Aussie down to 10, but now back, um, back at 33, we closed at 39, uh, still haven't really filled that gap, but, so not a whole lot to talk about, looked a little bit funny at the open, but now we're almost back to where everything was, Euro was at 28, uh, again, still haven't really filled that gap, surely we will, I think, uh, at some point, but seems kind of a meaningless little gap so I'm not going to get too too tied up with that cable still above 130 uh, that was annoying on Friday cable kept getting long cable and news slashed out of it then long at the end of the day through 06 made a little bit of money but Painfully, I mean, it looks so simple in hindsight, right? Look at the five-minute chart. You see the, the idiotic bullshit we all had to put up with um, to get there. Anyway, cable looks pretty solid. Dollar Swiss on its knees. Uh, not doing much now, though. Florian had a sneaky little turn there. Um, back down to 105.50. We do think dollar yen um, has to sort of make a move down to 100. But as you all know, it's been very frustrating. No vol. Uh, it's tough to get excited. 34 point range, still a joke, but 34 is better than 12. So. Let's just pay attention here, I guess. Um, you know, we had that gap up, dollar bid, but that really closed hard, and now we're, you know, down at 40. I guess bonds were bid overnight, yeah. That might have been something to do with it. Watch this dollar yen um, to play catch up on uh, the short dollar trade. Euro yen not doing much. Kind of the same, same pattern as dollar yen, just turning in, same thing. Dollars are middle of nowhere. No love there. Um, no interest there for now. Dollar mix makes very little sense to me, especially with uh, Libya opening up the oil fields. Oil should go left. Uh, this week, I think. Um, why dollar max is here? I guess it's, this is the this is the big dollar short, which is helping EM. Um, everyone loves short dollars. Aussie, as we talked about, gapped hasn't quite closed. Now we're six points away. Probably will. Euro Aussie equities are bid. Euro Aussie's lower. Aussie yen. Slipped down to 19, but still, still holding pretty bid, pretty risk on. Equities are still risk on, so the general theme here is risk on. Kiwi, triple six and a half, kind of a fun number. Um, 66, 65, not much to say here. Except for there is some fresh air up here. We're going to have a little bit of resistance at 90, but 67.50. It's really the next big resistance. And Dollar Cat on its knees, what can you say? I wonder who that was at 133.30 on farms uh, last week. Bang straight down 220 points we'll see she looks like she wants to consolidate 
this looks a little extended to me um, we'll have to see gold staying bid this is weaker dollar um, in play and then equities here we are 3480 should see some resistance and consolidation here 35 30 that was like the point of no return um, for the September move down so that's sort of your next resistance point we shall see if we see it I tend to think we're going to turn here uh, in this sort of 80 zone we shall see you know we need before you jump on the short side you kind of want to get some evidence or at least some bearish price action we haven't had bearish price act price action in a week since last Monday so keep an eye ZB is bid but you just want to sell this um, you know sell any rally same same strategy in ZB today maybe 15s and 25s um, if Biden wins this shit is gonna collapse ZN 10 year very stubborn very crappy trading ZN it's like you have to have like a 10,000 contracts on to make any money um, but we are watching this 138.22 uh, interesting you can see it on the chart although we should have the yield chart up I just started trading uh, bonds more seriously this year um, and like a lot of the futures market technicals are, are, or candlesticks are not that useful. They're useful guideposts for risk management, but the true technical patterns that you, you're kind of following or looking at uh, in bonds, of course, is the yield. So TYX is uh, 30. Um, we're watching this 177 certainly we're going to touch it I think um, probably break it stuck here 161 and um, US 10Y is the other one This is the yield, so it's inverted to the price. 80 basis points. Anyway, interesting. We think this is the most interesting trade. Uh, fixed income is the most interesting trade maybe in the last 10 years. Um, so, anyway, we'll see how she goes. We're sellers, as we have been just going to sell some of that shit today. CAD, we talked about gold. We talked about where's Bitcoin? 11.4. A lot of people buying Bitcoin. The guy from Foursquare chucked some money in there. <laughs> just easing higher. It's just a tech stock. Don't even think of it as a currency. It's just a technology play more than anything. Um, you know, it's like owning. Tesla stock at 11,400 so price it appropriately um, we buy Bitcoin today it's Monday that's kind of how we manage it every Monday we try and buy a little bit and um, just roll with it as an asset tradable opportunities are are few um, certainly the way the price trades and the patterns that it trades I'm not super familiar with and I'm not close enough to the inside and but as an asset we like it anyway who is this? who said they didn't like it this weekend oh yeah Gundlach said he doesn't like Bitcoin um, for anyone who cares crude zipped up to 41.50 now we're doing a little bit of a, a zip down but nothing nothing to do there really as far as tactical trades you can see it's pretty weak out there uh, you want to watch the news and cable 
uh, any like blip down on random news or news that's not attributed you should probably buy uh, that seems to be working these days and then uh, we just also have to watch the news about oh yeah let's look at dollar china huh so that's the close friday it has gapped up um this is worth watching this is probably a buy down here 669.23 200 points away um this might be your your driver today like gold was driving the bus on um friday dollar dollar c and h maybe driving the bus today probably chuck that up on your on your frontal lobe or on your uh most of you have it in the background, but today it might be worth watching. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, not much going on today. We got Bailey, we got, uh, I think Lagarde is speaking again. Um, yeah. <clears throat> BOE, we got Lagarde. We have, I mean, I guess we're watching coronavirus stuff, COVID stuff. Italy's going to lock down again, it looks like. This is not good. Um, you know, lockdowns are not good. I'm worried about it as well here in Switzerland. <clears throat> um, we'll see. Oddly, I just noticed that it's a U.S. holiday today. What is it, Columbus Day? Canadian holiday today? Like, what planet am I on? Jesus. Uh, so liquidity is going to suck afternoon trading is going to suck um, looks like a day to watch anyway I need some more coffee obviously uh, I mean we're watching dollar CNH we'll see how she goes I will talk to you all tomorrow ciao